And I have a message to all the white supremacists and the Nazis who came into Charlottesville today. Our message is plain and simple. Go home. You are not wanted in this great commonwealth. Shame on you. You pretend that you're patriots, but you are anything but a patriot. You want to talk about patriots, talk about Thomas Jefferson and George Washington, who brought our country together. You think about the patriots today, the young men and women who are wearing the cloth of our country. Somewhere around the globe, they are putting their life in danger. They're patriots. You are not. You came here today to hurt people. And you did hurt people. But my message is clear. We are stronger than you. You have made our commonwealth stronger. You will not succeed. There is no place for you here. There is no place for you in America. We work here today to bring people together, to unify folks. I remind you all that we are a nation of immigrants. Unless you're Native American, the first ships that came to Jamestown, Virginia in 1607. And since that time, many people have come to our great country to unite us. Our diversity, that mosaic tile of immigrants is what makes us so special. And we will not let anybody come here and destroy it. So please go home and never come back. Take your hatred and take your bigotry. There is no place. And if I could give you a piece of advice, use your time and energy to help people. Come with me to a homeless shelter. Come with me to help a veteran find a job or a place to live. That's what we need help on to bring people together. I spoke to the president this afternoon, and we had a conversation, and I told the president that there has got to be a movement in this country to bring people together. The hatred and rhetoric that has gone on and has intensified over the last couple months is dividing this great nation. We need to work together. I told the president that twice. Be willing to work with you if we can work together to bring people together. But stop the hate speech, stop the rhetoric in this country. We have got to bring people together. But we are a great commonwealth, and we are a great nation. And we are even stronger today because of those actions of those people who came with their bigotry and hatred.